over 10% of the global population do not have access to clean drinking water. They are forced to risk contracting waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid and dysentery every time they need to drink. It is obvious then that a cheap drinkable water source would be extremely useful. Using the plastic mesh branches as tiles in hot countries could allow warm air to escape homes at night whilst also keeping it dry inside. Also, due to the channeling abilities of the mesh, the roof could collect clean and safe drinking water for the home's occupants. Thuja plicata is a species of evergreen coniferous tree that is native to western North America. During a trip to Canada, it was noticed that the ground underneath these trees remained remarkably dry, even in the heaviest of rain. The phenomenon was due to the water channeling abilities of the branches. The traits of the branch were imitated with a plastic mesh to observe if the properties of the branch could be reproduced. It is believed that the most important feature of the Thuja plicata branches that gives them their extraordinary water channeling abilities is their shape as it allows water to converge at the tip of the leaf. Other important features include microscopic grooves in the leaf wax which also converge at the tip which further encourages water to flow there. In order to replicate the design of the branch, the macro structure was outlined and then shaped into a parallelogram. This ensured that water could be channeled to a definitive point on the parallelogram. The shapes could also be easily fitted together to form a larger structure, such as a roof. 8 million tonnes of plastic end up in the world's oceans every year. This damages sea life and destroys ecosystems. So any reusing or recycling of the plastics that would otherwise go into landfills is very beneficial. Although the amount of plastic used to make the mesh is relatively small, every little helps. The mesh can be designed on a suitable 3D printing software and then printed on any 3D printer of adequate resolution. Note from the video how when water is poured onto the mesh, the overwhelming majority of the water is channeled down the mesh and into the beaker. The small amount of water that passes through the mesh can be channeled by a second layer that is placed underneath the first mesh. The holes in the mesh allow air to pass through the layers without water flowing through. Ultimately, a series of mesh layers can be stacked until the overall system provides a 100% recovery rate.